Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hannah Duck and we are playing Banished as part of the Patreon's Choice series. Welcome back! So, we're still here doing some uh, some stuff. This whole area burned down last time. Uh, we had to rebuild it now with stone houses. Much, much better. I uh, also have plenty of other stone houses now being built over here. Yeah, nice that actually the fishermen are taking this. It was intended for the fishermen and they've, they've taken it. Very good. Very good. We bought a bunch of stone um, since it's spring. I feel like we we might actually just go ahead and upgrade a, a bunch of these houses because we we do have the stuffs. I guess I'm just gonna send ten builders out to do to do the thing. We're gonna slowly but surely replace everything with stone houses just to cut down on our use of firewood. It is our primary trading resource. And as the settlement gets bigger, I don't really want to have wood uh, cutters everywhere. And uh, yeah, we're having we're having slight food problems, I'd say. So we could probably put a pasture down here too. Um, oh, that, but more nomads, uh, guys. Another 18 people. Another 18 people. Can we can we take that? I feel that we might run into some severe food problems if we do that. Um, but then again, it would also allow me to like um, expand quite a bit. Um, sorry guys, I'm sorry guys. No, we, we can't do it right now. We're still trying to ingest the last group of nomads. Oh yeah, look at these guys, they're just running away. I'm sorry, man. Come back in a year or so. We'll, we'll, we'll do something for you. But for now, it, it would just be bad. You, you would starve, everyone else would starve. It's not good. Gotta get our economy up and running and then, then we'll, we'll deal with things, okay? I promise. We'll get better. The thing is, I don't wanna... I, yeah, you could say I could put more of these fields down, but I don't wanna go full monoculture. That's That's bad. It's really bad with the, with the monoculture stuff. 21 and 24 graves. I hope that the other ones go away at some point. I'm definitely not going to build another cemetery, so people will just have to suck it up then if it doesn't happen. Um, we'll switch this to pears instead of using the berries. We might even actually just stop this as a whole uh, since we're having food problems. I'm not 100% sure if we, if we will. It is summer. Yeah, guys, you gotta you gotta start harvesting now. I feel these guys are already harvesting. I like that. I mean, it, it does depend quite a bit on getting a good harvest in to feed our guys, right? What? Alaska the hunter was trampled by a wild boar? No. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, it is probably a vocational hazard if you are a hunter, but still, that's that's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Ah, oh, look at that! We got a, we got a bunch of houses done. A bunch of houses have been done. That's nice. I like it. I like it, guys. It's late summer. I think we're not gonna do another one of those. Yeah. Okay. We don't even have to scroll, so we definitely built a bunch of additional houses here for people. That's good. Almost no one here in the boarding house. The cleric very selflessly uh, living in the boarding house so other people can have a house for themselves. Uh, that's nice, I guess. Um, could probably put down more houses over here if we wanted to. Still in range of the marketplace. Just about. Uh, okay, we have five point. 6k in terms of food. The good thing about the gatherers huts is that they work during the winter as well. So we've used 8,500, produced 12,700. So we're on track. Definitely on track here. Oi, guys, you, you need to harvest faster. That, like, it's gonna, well, it's, it's raining now, but it's, this could easily turn to, to snow. These guys did a really good job. Yeah, and there goes the rest of the pear yield. Fools. How much alcohol do we have? Just 
28 units. That's not good. That's not enough. Can we make a lot of wheat? No, we can't. Come on, bring me some good seeds. Bring me maybe squash or something. What you got? No, just increasing amounts of stone. I mean... Sure, my man. <laughs> I'll take 500 units of stone. Can we even get that far? 4,000? Yeah, we can. I'll take it. Sure. Thanks for that. See ya. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. That's a lot of stone. That is a metric ton of stone. It's huge. It's really helpful. It'll also allow me to like put down some more some more roads. Some more stone roads. Which might actually become necessary here. Maybe it is because these guys don't have stone roads leading to their orchard. That could actually be a problem. Maybe they're just too slow getting the stuff into the barn. Could build another barn over here. Yes, stone roads for everyone. I mean, if push comes to shove and people actually start um, starving, we can always um, kill our flocks. But that would be a pretty bad idea, I think, in the long run. You're really destroying the, the substance then. You're living off of your substance, and that is gonna that's gonna hurt you in your future. So our main city shouldn't really have any non-stone roads anymore. I hope I hope I caught all of them. I think I did. I think I did. Yeah, looks like it. Okay, nice. Well, no, that's not it's not 100% true. Early spring when it's still snowing. Nice. Having a harsh climate, I guess. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll do. I feel that'll definitely do. Okay, so here's our road. Yeah, that there are no more non-stone roads in our lands. I like that. Well, this is technically a non-stone road. Could probably make it into one. It might not hurt. Might not really help the town. We got the stone now. So why the hell not? Yeah, we got some food stored. Where the herdsmen die. Question is, I mean, I could just, I could just uh, build an additional pasture. Yeah. Eh, it's probably not the worst thing in life. So just like. Go 20 by 20. And put another giant pasture. We're gonna stick cattle into this. Um. Okay, people are dying. Wow, we have 20 laborers. That's a, that's a lot of laborers. That's a possibility to build maybe an additional gatherer. I mean, we could also just go and have like another of these wood um, areas. That's a definite possibility to put something like that over here. Maybe that might be fine. Health is health is full now again. That's nice. Like that for sure. Maybe the warm coats were what did that. Could maybe just go for another pear orchard over here. Oh, we have a merchant on the trading post. Come on, be the life seed merchant. No, but he's selling food. Um, I'll actually, I'll take what I can. Buy some peaches. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, he only has 50 mushrooms, so, okay. Buy a thousand squash. 
I guess buy 250 chicken. Buy a thousand cherries. Some eggs. Um, can we even do that? Ooh, that's the first person that's gonna buy these herbs from us. Okay. Yeah, it's just enough. It's exactly enough. Oh, we're gonna make that trade. Why not? Okay, see ya. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Um, food limit can definitely go up, I feel. Maybe I'll just push that up to 20,000. And might not be a bad idea to put a barn over here too. Storage barn. That'll kind of increase the efficiency of this orchard, which is something that is dear to my heart. We'd like to build another orchard over here, but we might not be able to. Um, it's kind of hilly. It might also not be great to have orchard next to orchard. Might make us a little bit, um, a little bit susceptible to having sort of a uh, tree plague sort of thing. Gotta start harvesting now, guys. Come on, harvest. Make it happen. I believe in you. Come on, don't let the go don't let all the wheat go bad. Just because you've been too too stupid to start harvesting at the right time. Come on. I believe in you. Okay, so we'll make this into cattle. I think cattle have produced the most food here. Can have 20 cattle on this one, so I think we'll just split this. Okay, yeah, well, the cattle have to physically move over there. They can not at all for this for this uh, river. They're like, nope, I don't care. Okay, so we have another storage barn. That's good. So pear harvest should be should be much quicker. There's a consideration to build another storage barn over here too. Just as a like a thing. But it's gonna it's gonna kinda cut into the amount of wood that we can have here. Which I'm not sure I like. Yeah, I don't really see a way around it. Let's do this. Let's build that stone road. Let's build another barn. I think this might be... Yeah, this is 98% uh, full, so... I feel like another storage barn in this area might be a good idea. Can we fit one over here? No. Alright, fine. I mean... This is our main, our main agriculture area, so it's definitely a good idea. Have multiple barns here. It'd be kind of nice if there were bigger barn buildings, but it's okay. Still have enough stockpile space. That's not a problem. Oh, they're already up to eleven of twenty. 10 of 20, so... Why are you getting the surplus from these guys? Oh, right, no, I need to... I actually need to add more herdsmen. We're not at the, we're not at the max, which is not good. We need to get things done. Oh, man. I really wish we started with more seeds. It's the only thing that's really tedious about this. Um, hard start, but you don't have any seeds from the beginning. You have to buy them all and hope that the hope that the dude brings the right stuff and all that. It's just a bit annoying. So having problems with the firewood, but that's mainly because all the firewood is being sucked up by our trading. I don't think we really have a problem with that. Let me just check that. So 
God damn, where's the firewood? Can I not see that? Let's play one year, five years. Logs. Oh, over here, fuel. Right. It's called fuel instead of firewood. Um, current used. Produced. Yeah, no, we're slightly below what we actually should produce. That's not good. I mean, I can upgrade more buildings um, to be stone houses, which will cut down. So that's like building another woodcutter indirectly. But there's also really no point in not building more woodcutters. Like, if we really need it, why not build them? Hey, okay, let's just make this make this woodcutter road. Let's just have another woodcutter, I guess. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We're 17 laborers at this point, really able to use all that labor power for something good. Um, let's go ahead and put a stockpile behind this just so that. Ooh, hello. No. Well, uh, listen, man. Um, don't really care what you bring. I uh, don't think I want to purchase any sheep. No. I'm going to keep our firewood. It's fine. Stone is going down. I think the exchange st uh, firewood for stone is definitely always a good one. Look at this. We have a lot of food now. Maybe the maybe the food production wasn't so much hampered by the availability of production areas as it might have been hampered by just not being able to store all that much. Or maybe the efficiency has gone up massively due to the stone roads and the barn now being close to the pairs and everything. Do this. I think this is the last dirt road that we have in our in our little settlement. Yeah, I like this. Oh, and look at this. These guys are really, really good at planting all the stuff. 10% full. Oh yeah, these guys have wool and mutton in there. Right, that might actually be clogging our barns. Like, how much food can we store compared to... Um, I mean, I can I can up the clothes limit. I can probably also up the tool limit. Why not? That's also something that we could... I mean, what we could do is... We could just use this... As unlimited storage of stuff. Right? So, because it, it's like uh, a non-space. We can store as much as we want in here. Actually, no, that's not true. 30% full. Okay, so they did think of that. Okay, very good. Very good. Better than me. Okay, people are definitely drinking that alcohol. That does negatively impact their work performance. Okay, they're already, they're already harvesting the, the bean field. I think we should also start harvesting the, the wheat. It's late summer. I think I think it's time, guys. I'm sorry. Might not get 100% yield out of this, but... I'd rather not lose something to the frost. This place... Oh, man. It's moving forward really slowly. They have the manpower. I wonder if I should actually order another farmer to work here. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta um, harvest this down now. Early autumn. Come on. Seed. Seed. No, nope, it's just selling stone. I mean take it for sure for sure man every time you bring me 500 stone I'm fine I find it interesting that he's bringing more and more of the stuff I think 500 might be his limit but 
So I guess having good trade relations with them is helpful. Let's trade this. Uh, thanks for coming by. Have another 500 stone. Yeah, there's no need for a quarry. This is fine. Okay. Okay. Still busy harvesting. The bean people are almost done. What about you, wheat people? Come on. It's autumn now. Gonna bring this into the barns. Like right now. Oh. Okay, we can we can go for 30,000 food, for sure. Come on. That shouldn't stop you. Take all the food that we can. Okay, that's good though. That means that we're making a sizable surplus now. I like that a lot. Uh, I could probably use another herbalist. So maybe add some more vendors. They can actually be quite helpful from time to time. Mainly want to chuck additional people into agriculture in some form or fashion. So yeah, we just have wheat over here. I wonder why they're not like refining it, but just eating the wheat itself. Yeah, look at that though. They, they managed to completely harvest the thing. This thing still had some yield and now it's... Uh... Yeah, Alright, that happens I guess. Still, produced a lot of food here. Produced 17,000 so far, and we've used only 12,000. It's pretty awesome. Then again, as I, as I said, with, with the move from gathering to agriculture, it becomes a lot more swingy. A lot more swingy, I feel. Uh, I'm definitely having some firewood problems still. Yeah, it's probably because they're sucking out the, the trade stuff. Yeah, they're sucking out all the firewood to put it into the trade depot. I could stop that if I wanted to, but... It doesn't look like anyone's complaining so far. Like, they still have things in the inventory. It's just low. It's not out. Uh, marketplace has some firewood. Not a lot, but some. Could even consider building an additional woodcutter. It's bordering on the insane, but maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> if I were to put a woodcutter over here, that is doable. Do we do that? It feels kind of stupid. It feels kind of stupid putting an additional woodcutter here, but. I mean, sure. Why not? Okay, I think we're gonna... I think we'll build a bridge. Why can a bridge not be placed here? It can be placed here. That's no problem for you. But it can't be placed here. Why? What's your, what's your, oh, he can be placed here too. Sure, man. He's just doing this to make me angry, I feel. Okay, even more stone is arriving. I'm willing to, to get that stone. I think we kind of had enough stone now. Um, although, am I just saying that? It sounds like blasphemy. No, oh, yeah, we'll buy your stone, whatever, man. You might just be mad if I if I don't buy it, so I'll I'll buy it to keep relations up, I guess. <laughs> Which is not really a thing in the game. I don't think these guys care one way or another. So I'm just gonna remove that one road and see if I can fit a bridge then. And I will also harvest these trees. Oh yeah, right. I need to I need to add another woodcutter too. So yeah, do your worst. All right, so am I allowed to build a bridge now? Yes, okay, was that one bit of road? That was in the way of this whole exercise. Okay, then. Come on, build my bridge. It's gonna be good. And yeah, we have a lot of bridges over this, so I feel like we're moving in the direction of Venice, but it's it's not quite there. 
Uh, it's also not as beautiful as Venice, but I mean, we're not we're not a rich um, trading center. Just one town of weird, religiously prosecuted people that have strange ideas about when uh, people should get married, at what age, I guess. That is that is the reason why we got kicked out of civilization, I'm pretty sure. Because these guys are weird. They're like, oh, you, you're 10 years old? Yeah, you're ready. Come on. Come on. Go and marry. Well, in any case, we gotta end it here. Uh, I hope you join me for the next episode. Hope you had fun in this one. And uh, yeah, see you. Bye-bye.